What is up my crazy subscriber, this is Joking John 64 here to bring us more Black Ops 3 and today we're going to be talking about the new microtransactions in Black Ops 3 and also we'll talk about the weapons later on, uh, the new ones they added like the wrench, butterfly knife and also a brass knuckle which you can use for your characters on multiplayer so that's something cool but the other 50% of the update was not which is microtransactions so let's talk about this real quick. As you can see, if you guys go into the stores, you can see the map packs, season pads, the featured ones, and pretty much the featured ones are the, you know, the personalization pack and some COD points. What can you use these COD points for? So as you can see, it's an in-game currency that can be used in Call of Duty Black Ops 3 to obtain black market supply drops. So the supply drops are going to become bigger again, I guess. But this year, you know, the supply drops is really not that big of a deal. If you go to the black market, okay. Introducing COD points. COD points are now available. Purchase through the store and blah blah. Yeah, blah, whatever. Spend my money and throw money to your face, right? Activision, that's exactly what you want. So, yeah, you can now use COD points on supply drops. But one thing I really want to say is that the supply drops on Black Ops 3 are really not that worth it. It's just skins. Literally for everything, the specialists, the weapons, even for the attachments, it's just skin colors, skin types, and that's it. So why are people going to waste money on this? I'm pretty sure a lot of big YouTubers already spend a lot of money because I know they have the money and shit and they're going to do videos on it. But for you casuals out there, like people that just come in here just to play just for fun, do not even bother with that. Unless you like really, really, really want a skin. That's not going to better your game, you know, I guess go for it, but it's not really worth it. I mean, look at me. I have like 156 crypto keys and I can keep on earning more along the way because I usually get like around 60 kills per gameplay and I get like around three crypto keys or even more per gameplay. So hopefully they don't lower the amount of crypto keys you can get per gameplay because that would suck and then I would be pissed off. But right now I'm not that pissed off because I know the supply drops don't mean anything this year. Last year it meant that you got like the ASM1... Um, you know, the other weapon, I forgot the name of it, but uh, there was another, you know, type of weapons you can get with more damage or less damage or more rapid fire or something like that. Like, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare really affected the game because you have w weapons that had more damage. So that's why the supply just kind of unique last year compared to this year. The camo ain't gonna do shit. Like, it really won't. So, uh, like, really, like, let's just buy one just so you guys can see. And I'm gonna spend my 200 cop points just to tell you guys I don't really care about them. So let's spend that crap. As you can see, all you're gonna get is just camo, 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 and a gesture. When the fuck are you gonna use the gesture within game? Well, yeah, I need to show off when you win. So yeah, when you win, which I doubt most of the people do <laughs> when they buy this crap. So um, see so yeah, ya, guys. Is it worth it? Is it worth it to waste real money on cop points? No, it's not worth it. You, who's the who the fuck? Wait, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on there. Hold on. I press X by accident there. Who the fuck is gonna waste thirty nine bucks on five thousand cop points? Thirty nine bucks. Are you serious, bro? So, anyways, my opinion is about this. It's not worth it. Like. It's just camos, extra skins, and that's it. I really don't see any 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 um, special thing about that, unless people are gonna do it like CS:GO again, where you just get a camo with a nap and it automatically costs like a hundred bucks on it. Like I don't know, but if, for me, it's not really for me. Like it's not that big of a deal. I can still whoop ass with no camo. With a, I can go into normal camo mode with all my weapons, and I can still whoop ass. It doesn't make a difference. So you see guys, that's why it's not worth it. It's not worth getting COD points. Stay away from it. I don't care how badly you want a certain skin. Don't bother with it. So that is it guys. I'm just creating a warning in this video. You guys want to subscribe for more Black Ops 3. And also watch more gameplay and more tips from me for Black Ops 3. Subscribe for more. And also it's going to be more Fallout 4 to come.